Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to build a similar stacked graph. It is a bar graph, but again, they are stacked. I can see how many successful, how many failed in a stacked way. How can you create a stacked graph? Similar graph we are going to learn in this video. For this, I'm going to open my one of the dashboard, which I have created. Or you can always open a blank dashboard and learn this. Now, the very first thing, let's click on edit, click on add, click on visualization. And here I would select the scope as the org. You can also go with Q. I will go with the entire organization data. I'll select this. And I'm going to say um, this, you know, the name that we would like to give to this one. These are status. Uh, in last 30 days, right? Or status in last 30 days. You know, you can give your own names. So how to do this? Let's see. Now for this, I'm going to need some of the fields. To design a dashboard, you should be aware of the fields. The fields are important part. So first one, I would start with the processing status. Okay, processing status. Let's see, the, yeah, this is the field. I'm going to click on this. Now, if you simply run this, what are the different processing status you have? You have failed, success, right? Um, abandoned and all these things are there. So for this one, what I will do, I'm going to first click on this three, one, uh, three the settings option and click on pivot. So pivot means it'll appear in the top, something like this, if I run it. Okay, abandoned, deleted, failed, successful. This is how it has appeared. Now to fill the count, I need simply say count. So you need the item count. How many inside the queue you have items? So apply this. Now what happened? Under abandoned, deleted, failed, successful, this is how it has appeared. So pivot is important. Hit on run. Okay, just to see how it is appearing. So it said total there are five abandoned, total 70 was deleted, uh, 12 has failed, successful is 965. This is how it has come. I also need the date, right? Dates, because it is we are talking about the days or the dates, right? 30 days. So here I will simply say, uh, simply type date and there are multiple things. Creation date, do you want at what time the creation was the... Um, Q item was created or at what time the Q item was processed. So after process only the status comes, right? So what I will select, I will select the date one here and simply run it. So the date column has appeared here. I'm going to run it. Now you can see all the dates have appeared. Now the graph to become stacked, just click on this bar graph, click on edit. So by default, it will say grouped. Everything will be grouped and shown you the count. I want a stacked one. So select the second option. Okay. Now this is quite not visible at the moment. Okay. We can see it's not pretty visible. It is only appearing like a maroon color for me. Let me hit on uh, run. Okay. And I'm going to save it. So once you save, see, this is how it is appearing. I want to control it by last 30 days, right? So what I will do in the dashboard, I'm going to click on filter, add filter. And here I will select that particular field, which is end processing date, the queue end processing date. I select the date. Now by default, this is the title will appear. I would say date, I'll simply change it to date. And here you have multiple options like date range you want, or you want to give the time frame. Time frame means it will give you, um, okay. Let me refresh it, time frame. So time frame should give you this kind of a presets, okay like 13, 30 days and all that. So by default, I'll select 30 days and I'm going to click on add. So what happened? I got the 30 days. So now if you refresh this data, you will see the graph has changed. Now you can see the graph has changed in last 30 days. Abandon, you can see, let me maximize this slight a bit. Let me save it. So in last 30 days, abandon is this much. Uh, failed is this much and successful this much. Now fail, you don't want in green in color. You might like to edit that to some other color. So let me edit the dashboard once again. Click on this. 
go to edit go to series and here for the failed one for the successful one you might want to give a green color and for the failed one you might like to give uh, maybe a red color right the deleted one maybe you want to give a yellow color you can you know select your own colors and now you can see how the graph has appeared so failed successful is this much thus and failed is like 10 and abandoned is like 2 so this is how you can build your graph so this graph will appear slightly different for you based on your data that you have in your org or in your tenant but again the concept remains the same so thank you guys for watching let's once again meet in our next video